Let's take a look at customizing a Docker image so that you can use it in your CircleCI 2.0 configuration file. The first thing you're going to need is to make sure that you have Docker installed, which I do. And then we're going to build what's called a Docker file. And a Docker file is what Docker uses to build images. So I have my project repository here and in the root I have a Docker file. The first thing you want to do is select the source image that we'll be customizing. We're going to be pulling from the CircleCI public Docker Hub repository, which already has a lot of pre-built custom images. You might find some performance gains from using our pre-built images because in our build environment, if we find the same layers, we'll reuse them. And since lots of people are using these images, there's a high likelihood that these layers are going to be found and they're going to be reused in the build process. So we're making three modifications to this image. We are changing it to use the root user account rather than the CircleCI account that we modify in our images. We're installing Nginx and we're also cloning a repository. This repository contains all of the Docker images for the public images that we have on Docker Hub. We can take a look at the Docker file that was used to create our source image. You'll see that we're actually sourcing from the official node 8.9.3 image and then we're making our own customizations. So really our images use the same process that I'm showing you here. So with this Docker file, you can customize the image in many different ways. And that includes installing packages that you might want to use or adding your source code or anything else that you want to do to the image so that it's ready once your build starts. So once you have your Docker file ready, we can use the command Docker build to actually build the image locally. This dash T parameter is how we set the tag for the build. And this is kind of important. It's broken down into three sections. The first section is going to be the namespace or organization on Docker Hub that you want to push this up to. Following the slash, it's going to be the repository name that we want the image to go into. After the colon, we can give a specific tag to this image to identify it within the repository. At the end of the command, we have a period to tell it to look for the Docker file in the current directory. So now our image has been built. What we want to do is log into Docker Hub locally so that we can push the image up to our account. So we're going to run Docker login and it already has my username here. So we just need to put in the password, which is Hunter2. And now we've logged in to Docker Hub so we can push our image up. To push our image, we're going to be using Docker push, and then we want to supply it the tag name that we created. So the image push is completed, and now we can look on Docker Hub to see our image. We can see the repository here for the image that we pushed up. And when we go inside and click tags, we can see the tag for the image that we created. Now that this image is on Docker Hub, we can pull it down and use it in our CircleCI 2.0 configuration. So here's my configuration file and we're using the Docker executor. So now I can supply an image name and this image name is going to be the name of the tag that we pushed up to Docker Hub. I have a couple of simple steps here. We're going to be checking out our source code. We're going to be running Nginx. We're going to have it output the version. We're also going to curl it to see if it's running. And then we're going to have it list all of the Docker files in the repo that we cloned. My build is running on CircleCI after pushing a commit. And we can see that it is in fact using the image that I specified and pulling it from Docker Hub to use as our build environment. Our build has completed successfully. Nginx was started. The version that we installed was outputted to the console. We can see that it was running successfully and all of the Docker files for all of our images that we pulled down have been output to the console. So that's how you can create your own custom Docker image and use it in your CircleCI 2.0 configuration file. If you enjoyed the video, do encourage us by hitting like and subscribing to the channel. If you want to come chat with us, you can swing by discuss.circleci.com. And that's it. Thanks for watching.